Hey you guys, it's Sai. How's it going today? So we are in Atlanta, Georgia at uh, So Kong Dong uh, Tofu and Barbecue and this place has some good reviews. And so what we're going to do is we're going to eat some Korean food today which I'm really really excited about. I hope you guys are too. What we're going to eat is um, um, one of the first things we get served is banchan and banchan is one of those side dishes that they give us So you get served with a bowl of rice and then you get little side fixings whether it's like fish cakes or kimchi or a little fish on the side too But I learned in general with um, special events part of the culture is you're offered more um, banchan which I thought was really cool what we're going to order is sundubu jite, and that is a tofu soup, which usually is there's some broth associated with it and like some spiciness flavors. But on top of that, you choose what you want in it, whether it's like you want some beef, you want seafood, and or just kimchi. So yeah, I'm really excited to eat some um, tofu soup, and yeah, let's go, in, you guys. Alright, let's have our banchan, you guys. So I'm really excited. There's like quite a variety. See, um, like the other places they offer like four or like, um, but this place they offer like six of them, which I'm really like surprised about. I didn't expect that at all. Alright, let's try the rice first. No, rice with the kimchi, I guess. The kimchi is really good. It has a um, the chewiness of you know typical kimchi. It has a crunch to it too, and a good amount of spice as well. This is delicious. This is what I love about going to like Korean restaurants is getting the banchan. Yeah, what I like about this kimchi is it's very um, it's soft but it has a crisp to it, like typical kimchi, but on top of that, it has its spices as well. It's much more like, it has much more um, red pepper flakes or spice in general compared to like other kimchi places and they're like packed with it. So it's really strong flavor compared to the other ones. And now I think this is the potato one. I think it's called like braised potato or something. Oh, that's really good. Their bun, um, their um, potato is very flavorful, very strong, um, like soy sauce base almost. It like caramelizes well, and then on the outside there's like sesame seeds, so it's like a nice little touch to it. Ooh, definitely salty, which works great with the um, rice as well. And it has this like very nice potato texture. It's not dry or anything like that. When you take a bite into it, it's like your teeth just sinks into it very easily and it doesn't leave you this like dry feeling at all. And that's a nice touch as well. There's like the skin on the outside. I didn't even notice it at first and that's really nice. It's like a small white potato or something. so good. Oh, I love Korean food. All right, looks like we're gonna try the bean sprouts now. Ooh, these are mung beans. a texture of it's it's one of the lighter flavor ones of the banchan but also it's um it's very lightly seasoned and uh, lightly oiled and the um the ends of it it has this like nutty flavor with it Ooh, it has a little bit of, like spice that kicks in afterwards too and i think this is the glass noodles
the glass noodles are like gently stir frying. When you take a bite into them, it comes, you bite it down, it's really easy. But then like you come across these like textures such as like the, um, the green onion or the carrots that are sauteed and it gives a bit of a chew texture to it. It has like the salty, like lightly, like, I don't want to say soy sauce, but it's like, it's like a sweet and soy sauce or something to it too. Let's try the broccoli. Mm. I actually really like the broccoli and carrots. The broccoli is, um, it's like a cross between like that perfect in between a uh, raw and um, cooked. It has a chew, but you still have the freshness of broccoli that you taste with it. It gives a kind of like a nutty flavor to it. I've never had broccoli well done like this before. This is really impressive. But yeah, you can see the texture of the fish with the little bones sticking out. Ooh, I'm excited. This is, um, this is one of the better places where I've gone fish. Usually they're, um, usually they're like small little fishes. They will have like three little pieces. But this one's like a big whole fish. Mm. Yeah, it's lightly fried too. The outside of it has a bit of a, like a soggy friedness, like it's been soaked in it for for a while. A bit on the oily side, but the fish inside, ooh, it's so good. Lightly seasoned, not too strong. The fish and rice work really well together. And what's interesting is like it has this little like crunch associated with it. I didn't expect that. It's not the bone either. It's like the top layer of it. The fried outer layer is very lightly flavored. Kind of like when you try Korean fried chicken, how it's lightly crisp and flavored on the outside. It's kind of like that. I like the banchan in general. I think my personal favorite that to be the kimchi, the potato, and the broccoli, and the, um, the glass noodles. Alright, so it's the tofu soup time, you guys. So we got our sondubu jitae, so I'm going to add um, an egg in it. It's, it's been out for a while, to be honest. Usually, it's like boiling, but I'm going to add it in right now. Alright, let's try it, you guys. I'm so excited. I ordered the regular spice one. Oh, it's kicking in a little bit. Actually, I don't know if I ordered the regular spice one. I think I went with spicy, actually. Ooh. This one, it has, um, this place, their um, tofu soup is more on the, like, I don't know the best way to describe it, more on the, like, the tomatoey side. Ooh, it's like creamy. Tomatoey, not not salty, just a bit of saltiness. Yeah, it's very light flavor. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect that. But the spice, though, it um, it like lingers. You don't really taste it initially. Ooh, it's starting to like rise. The more I eat it, the more it becomes like stronger and stronger. Right, let's try the bee. What's it like working for Oh yeah. Beef is really good. It's really tender. Easy to bite into. And it has this like it's kinda of interesting. The best way I could describe it is it kinda of has the aftertaste of like you're eating beef jerky. See, I thought it would absorb the soup, but not at all. It, it's really strong in beef flavor. You want know it to taste like? It tastes like um, stewed beef. That's the best way I could describe it to you guys. You know how you have um, you have beef stew with potatoes and carrots? It's That's what it tastes like. The tofu texture is so soft and so smooth to eat. 
doesn't have much of a texture to it in terms of like like when you cook tofu at home you know how it has like that sponginess this one no it's so smooth it's so smooth let's try the shrimp you guys usually um, peel your shrimp or do you eat it whole That's fresh shrimp. That's really good. That's really, really good. See, the shrimp, since it's shelled, it didn't pick up on the tofu soup flavor at all. So you just taste pure shrimp. Oh, sweet. We have the clam bite now, you guys. Let's try it. That was a big chunk. Yeah, it was really, when you take a bite into it, it like breaks down really easy. I expected like chewy texture, but no, it was like a big chunk. So easy to eat too. Wow, this is delicious. I miss tofu soup. Gosh, I miss it. I wonder if that was muscle instead, because it was like a big piece. The clam is much tinier. See, there you go. That's the clam. There we go. there we go. The clam is the same thing. It didn't pick up much of the soup flavor. It has a bit of a chewiness texture. And yeah, it tastes just like the seafood. It seems like the seafood items, like the shrimp or the mussel or whatever it was, and the clam, it seems like they added it towards the end of the cooking process, so it doesn't allow the soup to overpower the flavor of the seafood items. But yeah, my final thoughts on this is like, if you are, if it's your first time trying Korean food or trying um, tofu soup in general, then I recommend you try uh, Sokong Dong tofu and barbecue because it's lighter flavored compared to other tofu places I personally have gone to. And, um, what I love about the um, banchan in general is that the, you get a wider assortment and same thing with the tofu soup. Pretty much you get all of this for like $10. There you guys, thank you so much for watching and I, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And, and yeah, tell me down below if you've ever had um, Korean food before and in particular have you had a tofu soup? But yeah, thanks to you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. And for us, we're going to order sundubu. But we're going to order sundubu jite. You can see a little bit of bone in there too.